What's up, it's Coach J Pro, and we're back with another round of reflex, Bang. bag, Bang. workouts. Okay, let's go. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you understand GOD. Maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no degrees. Today we have a four round, 20 minute cardio boxing workout for all levels. All you need for this workout are boxing gloves and a reflex or a Cobra bag. Today I'm using my favorite mid-level bag. It's the Nista Cobra bag by Valley Sports. I'll put the discount link in the description. You don't need your gloves on yet, just have them nearby. We're gonna jump into a warm up in a couple seconds. Bang, bang. All right, let's take a second, shake it out. We wanna loosen up that upper body. It's the key to success in boxing, in life. Nice, relaxed, poised upper body. We're gonna open up this warm up with a wrist stretch. So I've got my left arm fully extended. I'm gonna use my right arm to pull my hand down so I feel a nice stretch through the forearm and bicep. We can switch sides here. Nice and relaxed upper body. We don't want to be too stiff. We don't want to be too focused. We want to relax. Let that bag come to you. Okay, now we're going to go to neck circles here for 30 seconds. Nice and slow. Switch direction. I'm feeling pretty relaxed. I was upstate for a couple days visiting my mom. It's always nice getting out of the city, getting some fresh air. I think we all need that. Let's go to a torso twist here. We can open it up, pivoting on the balls of our feet. Now I'm back in the lab, feeling energized, focused. Um, it's been really exciting to see this channel growing every week. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support, the comments, the continuous names, the new names that come up. It's getting to a boxer bounce now. Start to get that heart rate up. It's really exciting. So thank you all for the continued support. Let's keep growing this thing. Spread more awareness about boxing for wellness. Of course, we want to reach our fitness goals, our boxing development goals, but really focus on how our mindset is growing and improving. Last minute of the warm up, we're going to get into a little freestyle shadow boxing. Move around your space, mix up your punches, anything you want, nice and light, nice and easy. Just getting warm here. Bang. If this is your first time here, I've got all kinds of breakdowns and beginner content, but if you want to jump right in it, you just want to know the stance. So you're going to get into a side profile with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty. I've got my right arm and right leg in the back. I'm going to kick that right leg out so I'm nice and balanced. Then we've got the one, that's our lead straight. The two is our rear straight. Three is the lead hook. Four is the rear hook, five lead uppercut, and six rear uppercut. We also got our slips, our rolls, our pulls. We're gonna keep working on it. Now you can go ahead and throw your gloves on, quick sip of water, and we jump into round one. Okay, we got a lot of punches today, a lot of activity. So if you're a beginner, your goal is always just to get through the three rounds and only rest with that one minute rest in between rounds. Even if you have to take a little bit of heat off your punches, it's better to just try to stay active and make it through the round. And also respect where you're at. You know, I think the, the process of improving with this bag, it's all about embracing a beginner mentality, going through it. It's okay to miss. You don't have to be great right away. You shouldn't look like Canelo right away. Take your time, enjoy the process, feel out your bag. And that timing is just gonna come with practice. The more you use your bag, 
the more natural it's gonna become, the more you're gonna be able to tap into that mind-body. All punches today. So we're gonna open up round one with a flow one, two, in five seconds. Let's approach our bag. Our flow is our light, continuous pace. We treat round one like an extension of our warm up. So I'm not going 150% yet. Still warming up, getting the body ready for a workout. 15 seconds here. Okay, step out, first combination of the day. It's gonna be a jab, cross, lead uppercut. One, two, five. Take your time. Punching right through that bag. Take your time. If I miss, I don't wanna go, oh, I missed. Nope, if I miss, I just stay balanced. That's it, don't worry about it. Right back to that flow one, two now for 30 seconds. Start to wake up those arms, wake up those shoulders. Let's maximize what we're gonna get out of these 20 minutes. You doing the no looks yet? All right, we're gonna reverse the combo now. One, two, six. Jab, cross, rear uppercut. If I'm new, I'm standing in place, taking my time for each combination. If I have some experience, I'm gonna stick and move. Just respect where you're at. One more. Okay, now we're gonna put those two combos together. One, two, five, one, two, six, for one minute. Jab, cross, lead uppercut, jab, cross, rear uppercut. Take your time. Breathing on every punch. A lot of times, if you're not where you want to be, where your speed or accuracy isn't there, we think it's all these things. What kind of advanced techniques do I need to work on? But a lot of times, it's the little things that make the difference. Ish, ish. Breathing. Ish, ish. Ish. If I'm not breathing, I'm too stiff here. Now we want to be nice and loose. Breathing. What? 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 And time. One minute rest and then we go into round two. Focus on your balance as you're going through these combos. Speed, power, all of this stuff, it just comes with practice. But the way to get there is to focus on the fundamentals, balance. So make sure I'm not leaning too much when I punch. I'm always nice and balanced. If I miss, I'm not toppling over. That's key. Speed, power, accuracy, all that fun stuff, it just comes with time. So, going into the second round, we wanna to start to gradually pick up the pace a little bit. If you're not sweating yet, we wanna be sweating by the end of this round. I'm sweating. It doesn't take much for me to get sweaty. We're gonna open up with a flow one, two for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna break down that combo and we're gonna build it up again, but we're gonna add something different in the middle. So stick with me, I got you. Let's go into round two. Let's open it up now. Flow one, two. Light continuous pace. If your bag doesn't move as fluid as mine, your flow might look like this. That's okay, as long as it's non-stop here. 15 seconds. Punches right back to the chin. I don't want to be just tapping. I still want to be bringing those hands back to the chin. All right, let's go back to that. One, two, five for 30 seconds. Nice and loose. Start to open it up a little bit here. Ish, ish, ish. Wah, wah, wah. 
Hiss, hey. Hey. Hiss, hiss, hiss. What, what, what? Hey, hey, hey. Feel out that movement. Getting that sink with your back. One more. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Okay, now let's switch it. Back to the one, two, six. Jab, cross, rear uppercut. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Speed, speed, and then power. Bang, bang, bang. Punching right through the center of that bag. That's how I know where it's gonna be. Hiss. Woo, hey, hey, hey. Start to get into that zone. I know I'm starting to feel it. Mm. Okay, a little active recovery here. We're gonna slip lead, slip rear. Use your bag as the center line and just practice taking your head off the center line. Imagine that bag was coming back at me. Slip, slip. Five seconds. Nice and balanced. Okay, so now we're gonna put that combo together again. One, two, five. We're gonna add a slip, slip. One, two, six. So it's gonna be a one, two, five, slip, slip. One, two, six. Take your time. If you're new and you're still getting your timing down, you can do it without the slips, but it's good to practice. This bag is all about head movement, getting the most. Hey. Try to slip right out of the way of that bag. Ten seconds. And time. Right, how are we feeling going into the second half? I say it all the time, but if you're a beginner and you're going through some of these combos and they feel a little uncomfortable, feels a little awkward, I beg you to just stick with it. It's natural, it's part of the process, but I promise you there's no better feeling than when you start to develop and get more comfortable with the reflex back. Every single time I have a beginner in here and I'm showing them how to hit this back for the first time, 10 out of 10 times, they're uncomfortable, they don't like it, they have this look like, okay, when can we get back over to the heavy bag? But three months, six months down the road, every single time it's that person's favorite bag. Because when you feel your star, when you feel yourself starting to develop, it just feels so sweet. And knowing that you're strength training, you're building cardio endurance, you're burning calories, what's better than that? Okay, we're opening up with that one, two, five for 30 seconds. We're gonna keep drilling these combos. There's something about the mind-body connection when you lock in with this bag and it's almost like nothing else is happening. You're not worried about anything else. You're just flowing with the bag. One more. Bang, bang, bang. Back to that one, two, six now. Jab, cross. Rear uppercut, 30 seconds. Hey, this. Speed, speed, power. What, what, what? If you need to take your time, take your time. If you miss, stay balanced. It's all about how you react when you miss. What, what, what? One more. Hey, this. Okay, we're gonna go again back to that slip lead, slip rear for 30 seconds, active recovery. Notice my feet aren't moving. I'm nice and balanced. Line up with my bag, and I just picture that bag coming down the center line. Slip lead, slip rear. Now one more time for a minute. It's gonna be that one, two, five. Slip lead, slip rear, one, two, six. For one minute here. Slip, slip, 
One, two, six. Feeling it in your arms now. Keep going. 30 seconds. One more. Last 30 seconds, let's end with the speed freestyle. Anything you want, everything fast. Anything you want. Practice slips. Hey, open it up here, let's go. Let's work. 15 seconds. Nothing worth truly developing in is easy. Got to put in that work, baby. Time. One more rest, then we go into the fourth and final round. All right, going into the fourth and final round. Now the goal should be the same every single time. It's to walk away from the workout feeling satisfied and feeling like we're growing and developing. I know people are doing these workouts for all different reasons. Some people are here for fitness, for wellness. Some, some people are here to practice real boxing technique. Whatever it is, we wanna walk away from our workout feeling satisfied and feeling like we're developing in one area or the other. And really that's about the effort. It's about putting in a couple more punches than I planned on. It's about driving that speed a little bit quicker than I thought. We're hitting that next mentality breakthrough. Maybe I'm a little bit more patient with myself. I'm not so hard on myself. Whatever it is, those are the things that make it enjoyable to train. A lot of people talk about training and commitment and discipline, that's all important. But to me, it's all easier if you really enjoy the process and you're not just forcing yourself through it. So let's finish strong here. We're gonna go back to that flow one, two for 30 seconds. We've got nothing but punches here for three minutes. So let's turn it up and walk away feeling satisfied and walk away feeling like we're growing. 15 seconds here. Let's go. Breathe through the pain. If you feel it in your shoulders and your arms, breathe through it. Okay, we're gonna transition to a flow five, six, non-stop. All right, now we're going back to our combo for one minute. One, two, five, slip, slip. One, two, six. Take your time. Hey, let's get that timing down. Thirty seconds. Breathe through it. This is your time. Hey. One more. All right, last minute to freestyle. Finish strong, let's go. One minute, anything you want. Let's go. 30 seconds. Keep working. Let's go. Through the bell. Hey. 
All right, let's end with that combo one time. And time. Woo! And that's it. You just completed this four round cardio boxing workout. If you enjoyed this one, please throw your boy a like, comment, let me know what type of drill or workout you'd like to see next. I'm here to help you get the most out of your bag. And if anyone has the courage to film themselves doing the combo of the week, that we just did in this workout, tag me at jprojabs on Instagram. I'll repost you on my page. And I wanna raise the stakes a little bit. The first person to tag me is gonna win a 30 minute free one-on-one -on -one private training session. We'll hop on FaceTime or Zoom, whatever you have, and do four rounds of custom work on the bag. I'll give you some personalized feedback and we'll have fun in a one-on-one -on -one environment. So looking forward to seeing that. And until next time, I'll see you again real soon. This. Hiss, 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 hey!